the largest every business conglomerate, Charon Pok Pan Group. CP Group has been growing at an incredible rate into the China market, moving into telecommunications, retail, agriculture, automobile, machinery, industrial, and entertainment world. Are they expanding too fast? And what are their future plans? Should they focus on their core competencies? And who should they partner with? Today, we are very honoured to have the third generation member of the Charon Hock Pan Group, Mr. Pok Pan Hock Noi with us. Good evening, Mr. Hock Noi. Congratulations on the succession of the company. Your company has made leaps and bounds in the every food industry. So, in your opinion, what are some of the reasons that have brought your company this far? Charon Hock Pan has been at the forefront of the every business food industry. Two areas. Firstly, you know, we emphasize on the food production processes. Um, also, the animal welfare is of very high importance. Second thing is social benefits. Whatever benefits the society will also benefit us as a company. So, I remember my grandfather last time in the villages. He actually went to take on the business to increase the yield of the farmers and profits or no profits he still took the business for the Thai people mm, That's an interesting history of CP Group So what are some of the core competencies of the company? CP's group core competencies there are, there are two things The first one is our partnership with all our partners all over the world We value these partners because it's more than just business but we have the same goals and objectives of serving our people. And secondly, our core competency is really the transparency. Although we are a family business, but we value this transparency because we know that this transparency will give them a trust. Awesome! So what are some of the current challenges that CP faces in China? The three challenges. The first one is the new entrepreneur challenges of people coming into the business from government officials that actually come into the business because they know the government structure and also the market a lot better so they can work more efficiently. Secondly is Walmart and Carrefour. They are our main competitors. Thirdly is the new levels of food standards that are in the food industry. And with these new levels of standards, we need new food processing processes for actually us to stay at the forefront. Mm, okay. So what are some of the strategies that your company proposed to overcome these challenges that you face? Firstly, with the, the food safety measures going up and the media influence that we can have, we will be able to gain a stronger consumer confidence. And secondly, it is built with the stronger logistics that we have um, that will allow us to have a competitive edge over um, our competitors and thirdly it is the government um, support that we will gain when we actually do social benefits of China mm, That's interesting Let's now take a short break and take a look at the local news and when we come back we'll talk more about city strategies Welcome to China News Asia I'm Teng Da Hua Today on local news, we'll be focusing on China's macro environment. China has been crucial to the world's economy, and even though its GDP numbers are slowing down, it is expected to surpass Japan being the world's second largest economy by the year 2010, and surpassing US to be the world's largest economy by the year 2035. However, with this growth, hundreds and thousands of people are dying every year from pollution-related diseases. With this pollution, there's a lack of access to safe drinking water and food for our people. Pollution is not only a domestic issue, but it has also become an international issue as we have surpassed US being the largest emitter of carbon dioxide. With a higher emphasis on our GDP growth and not wanting to do it at the expense of our environment, China will need companies that are both beneficial to our environment and economy for a greener future. Politically, China is a command-driven country where it forces the acceleration of growth through massive government stimulus such as stopping credit freeze and forcing state-owned banks to lend. And one characteristic of a command economy is that we are not good at getting returns on capital. China's economic success has been related to the outsourcing of decisions to Walmart and Carrefour over what to produce for exports. 
However, now that Western consumers have a lower purchasing power, China's central planners are now at a loss to drive its exports. Besides that, China also faces political risk as top leadership are undergoing a succession battle since President Hu Jintao and Prime Minister Wen Jiabao are due to step down in 2012. Their decision on the preferred successor will depend largely on their handling of the economy, particularly on the socially volatile countryside where environmental degradation and pollution are more prominent. Therefore, global companies entering China will have to consider our social factors as well. In order to understand more about the conditions of our villages, our reporter Huang Mei Mei is doing a live report at a village in Yunnan. Thank you for joining us at China News Data tonight. Hope to see you again. Studies have shown that third party logistics market in China is finally off to a fast start, driven by the opening up of the market of foreign firms and government commitment to growing China's share of the world economy. However, there is still an indication that there is still a bumpy ride ahead for this logistics provider given a range of challenges from both the demand and supply side. So, it's a hot one. How does CD seek to improve the logistics system in China? Firstly, we want to improve the logistics system by our strength, which is by forming partnerships. With these partnerships that we form with this logistics company, it will allow us to, to provide our customers better service. And also, secondly, it is really by value by taking away the middleman, we directly distribute to our retailers. And uh, thirdly, the main thing about logistics, because it's very hard to form a fully integrated logistics a service with full services in China. So actually, if we can streamline our logistics and our distribution, and actually have an integrated service used for every business unit, uh, that will give us a differentiating factor over our competitors. Excellent. You also mentioned about improving food safety measures. So how does CD seek to go about doing this? We feel that media influence is very important, especially to one of our main, main consumers, which is uh, those in European countries. And we realize that many of them especially are influenced by the television. The population spends one third of their time watching television. So that is a lot of time, so we want to do it through the television commercials. And we believe that with this, we will be able to educate our consumers about scientific, real data and issues on, on the food safety. As far as CP's growth is concerned, how sustainable is it and why? CP's growth is very sustainable because firstly, we actually plan to educate the workers on the food safety measures and the privileges of these food safety measures. Secondly, we also want to improve the logistics system in China as a whole to help build facilities. And that will not only help us in our logistic facilities, but it will also help China as a whole because we want to um, build this relationship with the government. Why is this so? It's because we believe in in building the people and building the country at the end of the day. And thirdly, it's also with the ERP system, the enterprise resource planning, we want to be able to match up with the global players in our financial management, in our human resource. So through this, um, we want to be able to have a world class standard. But our problem face is that our workers do not know how to use this system. We plan to tell them the benefits, but at the year end, we will give them more we can track their performance, we will give them awards, and we will train them how to use the system. It's really awesome to know that CP Group 